Hey guys, just wanted to share something that I really, you know, really leave the Lord laid on my heart just a couple minutes ago. I just said that I should share this. Um, God is calling us. God is calling us to really stand for righteousness. All right. God has empowered each of us. Each of us. We are given the ability to stand. And I just challenge every person right now. You can stand because of the work of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross to free us from our sin. We don't have to at any level at all live in sin. Right? It's about time the people of God decided. Everyone who calls himself a Christian, listen to me very carefully. God has called us to live holy holy lives and if he calls us to live a holy life he's he has given us the ability to live that holy life it's about time as men and as women of god we sunk our scepters into the ground and said i will not bow to sin in any form you can make that determination you can just deliberately just go before God even now and say, Lord, I, I, I just confess my sins right now, Lord, and I turn away from them, I forsake them, and I commit myself to living holy, a holy life. Hebrews 10 verse 10, Jesus actually makes us holy. This is not something that we can earn, but he has bought it for us. Our righteousness is already purchased by Jesus Christ on the cross. Whether you are Christian or not, your righteousness has been purchased on the cross. And if you're not a Christian, you can decide to accept Christ and live in that absolute wholeness that God has bought for us. Now, it's going to be a fight here, yeah, but guess what? We are strong. We always, we're always living in triumphal procession through Christ. And through, through Christ, the aroma of Christ in our lives just increases and spreads everywhere. If you're not a Christian, you can hear that Christ. You will have access to that righteousness that he has bought for you. I just want to encourage us. We can live lives of honor and integrity and holiness before God. And that is what God has called us to do. That is what he has empowered us to do. So let us do it. No compromise. No matter what in your own life. I pray that every one of us would give ourselves to God in such a way that any time we do anything that displeases him, that we would crave that the Holy Spirit would convict us of sin because sin will destroy us. That's what the word of God says. The wages of sin is death. The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to sow seeds of death in our lives to destroy us. But yo, we can't compromise anymore. We can't just decide to, to just do any old thing and just dash down ourselves before God like, you know, our bodies are living sacrifice, but guess what? I couldn't bother keep my body holy for God today, so I'm just have to take this dirty sacrifice. What kind of thing is that? We have to stand in righteousness. We have to stand up in purity before God because God is coming back for a church that is spotless and blameless. Will you be a part of that? The sexual immorality can't work. The sex out of marriage can't work. The pornography can't work. The masturbation can't work. The lusting after females can't work. The nasty jokes can't work. Behaving, behaving in an in an impure manner towards towards your, your, your girlfriend if you're a man or, or your boyfriend if you're a female. Touching, touching the the the, the just being be treating your girlfriend like she's your wife in a sexual way can't work. And we have to rededicate ourselves to God. Let's stop making excuses for sin. Sin kills. And you see how the devil is trying to pressure us and trying to trick us in our minds to make excuses and, and, to, and to just say, oh, yeah, man, this thing it not really matter. It's just a white lie, right? Oh, it's just, you know, I just look four times at her butt. You know, we have to stand in righteousness. I know this word is for me, too. We have to stand in righteousness before God. 
just to drop that scripture that was really on my heart. First Corinthians nine verse twenty seven. No, I beat my body and make it my slave. So that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified from the prize. See, it's all up to you now. You can beat your body and make it your slave. Your body, your flesh does not have to rule because you, your righteousness, your holiness has been purchased by Jesus Christ on the cross. And he does a good job at what he does. He died once for sin. And that means that sin is comprehensively defeated. You can live absolutely holy before God by the Spirit of God. Empowered by Jesus Christ. He has given you in Ephesians 1 incomparably great power for you who believe. So you can stand and declare to the forces of darkness, to your own flesh that loves and craves after sin. And you can't declare that you will stand in righteousness before God because our members, the members of our body are no longer agents of darkness, but agents of righteousness, weapons of righteousness. And we stand and we can declare that righteousness will be be our portion that holiness is what we will embrace we do not have to sink in sin i want somebody to hear this clearly you do not have to live in sin you have been purchased by jesus christ you are the temple of the holy spirit and the holy spirit lives in you and has defeated comprehensively the reign of sin do not let sin reign in your mortal bodies for you are no longer under the law but under grace which liberates for the grace of god teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live lives of holiness honor uprightness in this present decaying age you have been purchased for righteousness so let us stand in that righteousness in jesus christ let us fight as men and as women of jesus christ members of the armies of the living god let us declare to our own bodies i will not bow to my temptations i will not bow to my sensual desires i will not bow to the peer pressures that men want to put on me to the devil's plan for my life i will stand in righteousness and love god with all my heart with all my soul with all my mind with all my strength i will give him everything everything for jesus christ holding nothing back making no excuses we can do it empowered by jesus christ for there is nothing there is nothing that can stop us because jesus christ has paved the way to righteousness he has purchased for us the toll gate for us to enter the highway of holiness the pathway of righteousness he has bought it in his own body anchored us, anchored us in the holy of holies by his own blood he has purchased for us a great salvation that liberates us from the reign of darkness there is no excuse let us stand in righteousness let us stand in holiness. You can be holy. Jesus makes you holy. I can be holy. Jesus makes me holy. That's the truth. That's the word of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. What does that say? There is no temptation taking me except what is common to man. And God is, God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But can but we'll make a way of escape so that we can stand up under it. Yo, every time there is temptation, there is a way out. We can stand. Rise up, warriors. Rise up, men of God. Rise up, women of God. Let us fight for our lives before God and stand in righteousness. He has purchased for us by his blood this righteousness. And he declares to us in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. He who became, he became sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God. He became nasty, gawky, putrid sin. He took our sin upon himself and he paid the price comprehensively so that we might become the righteousness of God. Let us not dispose and spit upon that righteousness, but let us commit to, to, to continuous repentance. Let us commit to continuous war away, war against our flesh. Because guess what? I beat my body and make it my slave by the, the power of the Holy Spirit, by what, is, by what Christ has purchased for my own life. 
See, if, you, if you're not a Christian, I want you to hear this word clearly. You need Jesus. He is the source of holiness. He is the source of righteousness. Without him, there is no hope for freedom from sin. There is no hope for holiness. Give your life to Jesus if you're not a Christian. And if you're a Christian, don't ramp with the thing. You have been declared holy in the heavenlies. You're not have a sin. None at all. Now the devil fool you. You are seated with Christ in heavenly realms. You are given the same authority as Christ. That's what the word of God says. Check it out in Ephesians 1. Know who you are. You are declared righteous. And the grace of God. The grace of God. Has been poured out on our lives. So that we would stand in righteousness before God. I just want to pray. Lord, teach us to be holy. Let us not compromise. But I pray that we would be comprehensively given over to you. Not having the mind of sin. I pray that we would commit to repenting before God. And he will accept us in our nasty state when we are repentant. But sin, sin is nasty. And he still loves us, you know, but sin separates us from him. Help us, God, to commit to repenting, to commit to fighting, for standing in righteousness. For we're not weak, we are strong in Jesus Christ. There is nothing that the enemy can put, can, can launch after us, that we cannot stand against because we are empowered by the same strength, the same power exerted to resurrect Christ, the same power exerted in our own lives. Teach us, God, to stand in righteousness and empower us, Lord, to live lives of honor. For you, God, are our refuge. You are our strength. You are our very present help in times of trouble, in times of weakness. You strengthen our limbs. Lord, you empower me, Lord, to stand upon the heights, God. You strengthen my feet, Lord, to prance upon the mountains, God. With God, I can stand against a troop. I can advance against an army. I can scale a wall with Jesus Christ. With God, I can stand. And stand firm. So I encourage everybody. You can do it. With Jesus Christ. God, let us give you glory, Lord. Lord, all honor, all praise be unto your name. Lord, and Lord, get glory. Glory to your name. And may you find a people in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, in the nations of this world, that have their hearts set on you, set on loving you more than pleasure, loving you more than anything. A people that have dedicated themselves to warring, to standing and being on their guard against every type of sin. Thank you, Lord, that you have purchased our holiness. Help us, God, to walk in that holiness to beat our bodies and make it our slaves. Because, Lord, we love you and you want to advance in this awesome relationship with you. Lord, save those who, who don't yet know you. Let them know that once they repent, they will be made holy. They will be made holy by the blood of Jesus Christ. God, we commit to you we surrender our bodies to you as living sacrifices. And we ask that you continue to empower us, unite us, strengthen us, God, as we stand to please you and to love you like never before. In Jesus' name, amen.